Hi everyone, I'm sat here down on my floor again to bring you another video. This one's kind of unintentionally become a little bit of a series on my channel, which is unboxing specifically Solivare boots and shoes. That wasn't my intention, I wasn't going to become a channel that does that, but my first ever video was actually unboxing a pair of Solivare boots, and that's my most successful video that I've had. People still watch that video now, so I thought every time I buy a new pair of shoes, whether it's Solivare or not, any shoes, but it does happen to be Solivare quite a lot um, recently. But I am going to show you another pair of boots that I bought. If you like these kind of videos and also more subculture inspired makeup videos, things like that, then please do remember to subscribe. I've reached uh, 600 subscribers now, which is really exciting to me because I never thought that I'd get that many. So thanks to everybody who's already subscribed. I do look a little bit gothic today. I've just done my makeup. Um, I'll try and show you it close up. I'll do, I've got a tutorial up on Instagram as well, so I can leave my Instagram linked in the description box. But I did my makeup while I was watching Beetlejuice and as you can see that's transpired into my makeup as well so it's quite funny really but I love this jumper, I've had it for a couple of years now and it's one of my favourite mohair jumpers that I've got. So I'll move on to unboxing my boots and please do remember to like and subscribe and leave a little comment as well, I'd really appreciate that. Let me get on with the video. So if you follow me on Instagram then you might have seen that I've been having a little bit of trouble with my Dr. Martin's church boots. I've got the church quad, I'll show you them here. This is the boot that I've got. I've had them for a really long time. I'm not sure how many years I've had them for but it's quite a while. Um, as you can see, hopefully you can see that the back of them's completely... I must walk a little bit funny because the back of them's gone diagonal so I must walk leaning inwards a little bit on my feet but yeah these are the Dot Martins with the quad sole so I've had a couple of pairs of the original monkey boots from them I've actually got them tattooed <laughs> on me as well so I've got like a tattoo of this monkey boot by Dot Martins on me so they are one of my favourite boots and pretty much part of my identity at this point to be honest but I, like I said, I've had these ones for a while and if you take a look at the toe cap of the boot you can see that a lot of the um, leather has come away. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed to be honest to be even showing these on the internet because as you can see I don't really take much care of my shoes. Um, I try to, I'm definitely trying to get a little bit better but yeah so the orange here is left underneath from where the leather is rubbed away and I did as you can see there try and colour it in with a little bit of sharpie which was one of the worst things that I could have done for it to be honest but I think that that just confirmed that I needed to get another pair of boots and this time I decided to go for Solivares again so I've got the box here I ordered them directly from the Solivare website this time so there you go I got the monkey boots and I'm a little bit nervous because because I've got them in a size 5. If you've seen any of my other Solivare videos, I'll probably make a little playlist and I can leave it linked up here for you because um, I've, I think this is my fourth Solivare unboxing video now, or maybe my third one. I'm not sure, but um, I've got a couple already, so I can leave those linked. But I mentioned before that I do have a pair of size five and a half, which is my usual size. However, I did find them a little bit roomy, so my other pairs have been in a size five. Same as my Dr. Martens, I get a size five in those as well. And I decided to get these in a five, so I really hope that they fit me. I got them on Klarna, so I've not yet paid for them because I'm going away next weekend and I wanted them for that. And I don't get paid until next week, so I've clanned them. I'm pretty responsible when it comes to paying things back, so I'll move over to the side a little bit so I can hold the box up here for you. So, standard box, like as usual, and they've got their Solivare tissue paper in there, and there's a little sneak of the boot for you. I'll get them unboxed for you. So, the differences that I've found with these is that they've got the similar style stitching but it is just black so it's a little bit more subtle. As you can see it's just sort of stitched in whereas on the Dot Martin it is yellow and the stitching pattern is a little bit different as well on them. Obviously you've got the signature grey stitching which is the same case with every pair of Solivare boots and also the green tab which I really love to be honest I love the little hint of neon green that you've got at the back have to admit they do look a little bit small I love the toe of a monkey boot as well the fact that they're a little bit rounded like I said these ones are brand new so there shouldn't be any kind of imperfections or anything like that on them which I'm not seeing any of those and they're sort of a little bit of a flat sole but I do think that they've got a little bit of height to them they've definitely got more height than my 
sole of their um, Derby boots, which sit quite flat to the floor, but these have got a little bit of tread, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is lace them up and then I'll try them on and let you know how they fit. Keep your fingers crossed that this is a good size for me. Here's the first look at the monkey boots on and I have to say that I'm really glad because they do seem to fit perfectly. I've just got them on with what I was wearing in the video so they're just some quite thin socks. I feel like there is a slight rub on one of my little toes because the leather is a little bit stiff. I have to say it's a little bit stiffer than the Dr Martin's monkey boots but um, it just shows that they're pretty good quality to be honest and I think I'll wear them in fairly soon They're quite wide. They're a little bit wider than the Doc Martens as well So I'll have to get used to that. They were £169 and I can't wait to break them in So there we have my new Solivare monkey boots that I've got. Let me know what you think of them I'll have to wear them in a little bit to give you an update maybe in the comments in like a week or so How I've worn them in and whether I got any pain or not but I'll see you again for my next video. Bye.